Eric from The Art of Loving. Unlock the secrets of truly understanding and experiencing love in the summary of The Art of Loving by Eric Frum. This insightful book dismantles the myth of love as a mere feeling and emphasizes the need to learn, practice, and master it as an art form. Delve into the exploration of different aspects and forms of love like maternal, paternal, brotherly, erotic, self-love, and the love of God. Understand the importance of care, responsibility, respect and knowledge in the act of loving and navigate your way through a consumerist culture that warps our conception of love. Rethinking love. Love isn't just a feeling, it's a learned art that's often misunderstood. We're taught to view love as a commodity, leading to confusion and mistaken expectations. To truly understand love, we must unlearn these preconceptions and approach it with a new perspective. Learning about the theory of love is the first step in putting this into practice. Elements of active love Love is a universal feeling that is all about giving and comprises care, responsibility, respect, and knowledge. An active and giving love requires the demonstration of these elements. Care is shown through active concern for the well-being of the loved one, while responsibility involves responding to their needs. Respect entails accepting our loved ones as they are and not trying to change them. Emotional knowledge forms the fourth and final element of love, allowing us to understand the subtle signals of our loved ones. The unconditional love of a mother-child relationship is an epitome of care in love. Fathers typically show conditional love since it is bestowed based on certain expectations. Unlike unconditional love, conditional love can be lost. Therefore, love can only be considered active and giving when these four critical elements are exhibited. Forms of Love Love can take various forms beyond maternal and paternal love. Brotherly love is the foundation of all other types of love, marked by human solidarity, caring, responsibility, respect, and knowledge. In contrast, erotic love unites two individuals both emotionally and physically, opposite to maternal love. Self-love is about respecting oneself's integrity and uniqueness, where caring for our happiness is necessary. Meanwhile, the love of God is a religious form of love that aims for spiritual union with a supreme being. Love in the Age of Capitalism The book examines how consumerist culture and modern capitalism have warped our perception of love. Specialization of labor in capitalist systems limits workers to mundane tasks leading to alienation from themselves and others. Western society's idea of a happy marriage is similar to an ideal corporate partnership, prioritizing function over love and intimacy, leading to false conceptions of love. The author advocates for practicing the art of loving and working against pseudo-love to experience real relationships. Mastering the Art of Loving Love is a complex art that requires discipline, concentration, and patience. There are no easy formulas, but three principles will help us master this art form and others. The first principle is discipline, which we can develop by establishing routines that help us grow. The second principle is concentration, which requires comfort with solitude and focus on a single task. The third principle is patience, which allows us to slow down and savor life's interactions. By following these principles, we can become adept at the art of loving and other pursuits that require dedication and commitment. In conclusion, The Art of Loving equips the readers with a comprehensive understanding of love's intricate nuances and the importance of treating it as an art form. Eric Fromm emphasizes the need to cultivate the four key elements of love, care, responsibility, respect, and knowledge, to experience and create meaningful relationships, both with others and oneself. The book also emphasizes the significance of discipline, concentration, and patience in mastering love as an art form. By reshaping our understanding of love and overcoming the detrimental effects of a consumerist mindset, we can cultivate deeper connections and foster a more genuine, nurturing experience of love.